Howdy everyone, this is Jay from Mach 30. I'm uh, recording this video as a response to the open source hardware documentation jam last spring. It's been about six months, maybe seven, not quite sure anymore. But it seemed like a good time to us at Mach 30 to reflect on uh, what happened at the documentation jam and uh, what progress we've made over here at Mach 30 and what progress our friends from the documentation jam have made and uh, what things we hope to see in the future. Got a handy dandy list of questions here on my screen that uh, were prepared by folks here at Mach 30 uh, to make sure I cover all the important things that have been going on the last several months. So I'm just going to go on down that list. Uh, of course, feel free to leave comments in the YouTube video or uh, contact us through our website if you have any uh, follow up questions. So the first question is what open source hardware projects have, been, have we been working on since the documentation jam? Uh, and uh, at Mach 30, we have two uh, main open source hardware spaceflight related projects that we're working on. Uh, the first I think I was able to tell some folks about at the Doc Jam uh, in the spring, which was the Shepard test stand. I'm happy to report that progress continues on that. Uh, Shepard is a small education and training test stand. Uh, lets people uh, get their first taste of rocket motor testing. And uh, recently, uh, the volunteers involved in that have been able to successfully complete development of the data acquisition uh, system for uh, the prototype and are working on a new structure. Uh, our second open source hardware spaceflight project is a small ground station in partnership with Southern Stars, who are uh, building the SkyCube CubeSat. Uh, we're calling this ground station the Ground Sphere since it communicates with the SkyCube. Uh, yes, we are just that punny, uh, and uh, I'm happy to report that, that project is coming along. In terms of hardware documentation, the big news on both of those projects is that we have, uh, since the beginning, been using Shepard as a testbed for how to uh, document a lightweight engineering design process. We borrowed heavily from Amanda Wozniak's uh, presentation a couple of uh, open hardware summits ago, uh, and we are now taking uh, that process that we're using on Shepard and turning it into templates for our wiki pages and uh, applying those templates in GroundSphere, which is pretty exciting. It's uh, really We see uh, a lot of forward progress on that in terms of speeding up our design process. And we don't have to scratch our heads and go, and what's the next step and what are we doing now? Uh, we uh, very much go, oh, well, turn the crank, ask these questions, answer these questions, write up this document. Helps a lot. Uh, additionally, uh, personally, I'm working on a project uh, called that I call the Hollow Seat. Uh, it's a one-person little project. It's uh, using an Arduino to connect my exercise bike to my computer. So when I uh, play my video games, I have to exercise. I actually uh, can't move my character forward for walking unless I'm pedaling. Um, the very act of pedaling is what causes my character to walk. And uh, it's a little Arduino Leonardo project. Uh, and I am following the basic template structure that we use in our other projects, but in a kind of lighter weight format. And so I'm actually laying out uh, one person to two person team size templates uh, based on that project. Uh, whereas the other projects that I mentioned tend to be the four to 10 person size team project templates. So that's uh, what we've been working on uh, in terms of hardware projects and how they affect uh, documentation work. Second question I have is how have we been documenting our projects? Uh, things like where are we hosting them? Uh, are we following processes? Things like that. Uh, for uh, those that remember uh, that Mach 30 runs the website Open Design Engine, uh, which is an open hardware project hosting portal. Uh, and so naturally, all three of the projects I talked about are hosted on Open Design Engine. Uh, we're big believers in eating our own dog food. So uh, every project we run uh, gets hosted there. Um, we, uh, we feel it's important to, uh, when we're doing project hosting, to not just produce the final design documents, but also the design process documents. So intermediary design decisions, meeting minutes, forum discussions, all of that gets captured on the Open Design Engine and uh, references are linked back and forth between the wiki pages that are final products and the discussions on the forums that produce those final products. Uh, so folks can follow along the process, both as a, a learning tool, how to someone go about doing a design uh, and so that there's pedigree behind the results. Uh, you can see how uh, a decision was reached uh, to validate that decision down the road and to uh, remind yourself of how that decision was made. So yeah, uh, 
that's the, the big stuff there in terms of the, the where and the how. Uh, on a more personal note, I have been uh, trying out something that uh, I heard about at the Doc Jam uh, in terms of capturing documentation real time. When I'm working on the Hollow Seat project and I'm doing assembly instructions, I've actually been uh, using my phone's Flickr app to take photos of each step and then I title and describe the step with what I'm doing uh, and make sure I do all that before I upload the photo to Flickr so that when I am ready to come back later and actually write the assembly documentation all I have to do is uh, in the wiki is copy and paste the instructions from the description the photo descriptions and titles uh, into the wiki page and then reference the photos in the wiki page uh, and then I get a very uh, flowing and easy to write takes 15 or 20 minutes to set up the assembly instructions instead of uh, having to write them from scratch and it doesn't slow me down that much during the process um, it actually helps me focus on what that step was when I'm designing the step having to stop for a moment and photograph and document it I find actually clarifies what I'm doing uh, when I'm doing prototyping which is a nice little side effect so uh, to whoever it was that I first heard the idea about uh, photographing as you go along and trying to use photos as an intermediary documentation process I appreciate that. It was a great inspiration, and I offer the uh, the additional comment about uh, using the apps like the Flickr apps capability to tag the photo with a title and a description to flesh out that documentation in in process is pretty cool. Uh, the next question is: uh, If you had follow up actions from the Doc Jam, how are those going? And uh, Mach Thirty and myself, uh, we definitely did have some follow up actions, and I'm very excited to report on them. Uh, Results are mixed and still forthcoming, but I'm still happy to be able to talk about them for a minute. Uh, the first is that uh, we had committed to running an on-air hangout on Google Plus as a follow-up to the Doc Jam, uh, kind of like a roundtable or panel to reflect on uh, what people saw and learned during the documentation jam. And uh, we had a really great hangout. We held that a couple of weeks after the event uh, and got a really interesting panel. Got a uh, couple of th people participating by pre-recorded video and a bunch of other folks participating live. Uh, Mach 30 board member Jeremy Wright uh, facilitated that panel and asked some really great questions. And unfortunately, that night we had a number of uh, Google Plus snafus and the video was not able to be captured uh, to our YouTube channel. So while well, it was a great live event, unfortunately, it was uh, not something that was able to be archived and shared with the wider audience. Um, the next thing that we're uh, tasked to do, and by tasked I mean we took on uh, as, a, as a volunteer effort, was to catalog Open Design Engine feature requests. It was great to get to interact with a wider part of the open hardware community to see what their needs were. Uh, and I'm very happy to report that 14 uh, very solid uh, and very well-defined feature requests came out of that conversation, uh, and probably several dozen other uh, concepts that uh, will eventually influence the, the direction Open Design Engine goes. We don't have a particular um, roadmap schedule for any of those features yet, uh, though a couple are pretty high priority for us. Uh, you can check out opendesignengine.org uh, versus opendesignengine.net. Uh, the .org uh, is our project for Open Design Engine, so you can see uh, how those features track in the roadmap that way. Uh, and uh, stay tuned. We are definitely starting up development again in Open Design Engine. We're very excited about that. And uh, finally, uh, I volunteered to prepare a presentation about the need for open source CAD tools to share with the Open Source Hardware Association and the wider community based on uh, feedback and discussion that happened at the Documentation Jam. Uh, and that's uh, one that is still forthcoming. Uh, I uh, actually wound up with a uh, larger conference load than I anticipated this year uh, and I'm um, working on some other personal projects including my PhD and I just haven't been able to get time to uh, sit down and write out another presentation uh, but I promise that's still on my to-do list and I will get that uh, put together. Uh, I'm a big believer that the results of that work are important uh, and that we do need a, a strong capable CAD package uh, that can compete with something like say SolidWorks. Um, that for open source uh, developers that is not encumbered with uh, licensing and fees. So there you go. Um, 
The next question is, is there any open source hardware documentation news from uh, our group or projects that we want to share? And uh, I mentioned briefly a moment ago that we are getting ready to spool up design work and uh, development work on Open Design Engine again. I'm very excited about the uh, user interface facelift uh, that is being uh, worked on by one of our volunteers, Tears, Chris. And uh, he's doing some really interesting work with laying out Open Design Engine's features and making them more accessible uh, and making the site in general better uh, in terms of from a readability and a usability standpoint. And uh, there are a couple other features that are about sustainability that we'll be trying to get in there as well. So I'm very happy to report that that work is starting up. Uh, in fact, this week I have uh, more meetings uh, with stakeholders to make sure that we've got a coherent and unified vision and that uh, we've got investment in terms of uh, time and energy uh, to support that work. So stay tuned. I hope to be able to announce uh, in the coming months a renewed and refreshed open design engine for you guys. And finally, the last question we're supposed to talk about is what kind of progress in open source hardware documentation would you like to see in the next six months? Um, and I've got three things I want to share with you guys. Uh, the first is uh, I personally would really like to see another uh, in-person open source hardware documentation jam. It was great to meet everyone. I think we made a lot of great progress and did a lot of good work in person. And I don't think uh, you can underestimate the power of bringing people into the same space to do work collectively. Um, second, uh, I am uh, both myself and Mach 30 want to uh, express uh, our deepest hope that we will continue to see uh, more open source hardware projects hosted on open hardware project hosting sites, uh, be it Open Design Engine or others. I uh, will certainly admit that uh, as the project lead for Open Design Engine that I am a little biased in where I hope to see projects hosted, but really at the end of the day, it's about seeing more and more projects uh, hosting from cradle to grave, showing uh, the conception of the idea and how that documenting how that moves from uh, idea to concept to prototype to design to finished product. And that order might be a little funny, so pardon me. Uh, it's uh, <clears throat> it's been a long day, um, but you get the idea that the to me personally, open source hardware means more than just sharing uh, the design files for replicating, uh, although that is an essential uh, element of the process. To me, it's really about seeing the entire design process so that uh, more folks can come to hardware development uh, by virtue of having powerful examples to learn from. I think this is one of the things that open source software does a really good job of, and I hope that uh, as a movement, those of us working on open hardware can can replicate that effect for, uh, for developers coming after us. Uh, and finally, uh, I'd like to share an idea that I had uh, while reflecting back on the documentation jam, and that's uh, to see more virtual events, uh, perhaps uh, coming together as often as monthly, uh, but at least quarterly to uh, do a virtual version of the doc jam where uh, we come together and we discuss the, the things that are challenging us, we share ideas about things that are working for us, uh, and we, uh, we try to do more of that work that we were doing at the documentation jam in a more consistent uh, way, uh, drip by drip, uh, getting things done instead of uh, waiting for a big annual event or instead of folks working uh, off in their little corners where uh, no one can see the great things they're doing, uh, and don't have an opportunity to contribute to those great things because they just don't know it's happening. Uh, Mach 30 has had a lot, of, uh, a lot of experience and success using Google Plus Hangouts to facilitate uh, their volunteer efforts. We use them many times per week to do our work, uh, so I'd be happy to uh, share thoughts and ideas about how to organize those kind of events with, uh, with other leaders in the community who want to work together to organize these things. Uh, again, just feel free to uh, contact me through uh, our website or through comments in the YouTube video. And uh, I think that's about it. That covers the questions. Again, we're very, very excited to uh, have been able to participate the first time in the Documentation Jam. We look forward to another one uh, in the not-too-distant future. Uh, we will continue our efforts with Open Design Engine and uh, sharing our own projects to make them as best to make them representative of best practices as possible. And we're very excited to see uh, what else other folks are doing as well. Thank you very much, and uh, 
Have a great day.